Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright and this is going to be a walkthrough video. Um, it's going to be a part, I'm going to do two walkthrough videos for this triplet set. So this will be the part one walkthrough. I don't know that I'll put part one in the title though, um, but that's what this will be. <laughs> Um, I have reading glasses, um, so it's still me with the glasses, <laughs> um, but I got reading glasses recently. So um, anyway, uh, so in this uh, walkthrough video, um, this part one walkthrough video, it'll be the preparatory steps um, like grounding, unraveling resistance, aura repair, um, and then in the part two uh, walkthrough, which will be the next video after this one, um, we'll do inner self work where you uh, melt away energy blocks that are, um, that are influencing how you view yourself and your sense of yourself. Um, and it's not specific to a chakra. It would help all chakras actually. So, um, but this is the important preparatory work that we're gonna be doing in this video. So let's get started, okay? And there's nothing that you have to do before this because this is the proper, these are all the preparatory steps that we did in the healing. Um, so you don't have to worry that you're not ready or not you know, centered enough to do this walkthrough video, um, this part one walkthrough. Um, and this is my cat, Yo-Yo. Hey, Yo-Yo. I just wanted to let you know this is Yo-Yo since he was in the camera shot already. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, oh no, he wants to sit on my notes. <laughs> okay, good. So number one is grounding, always, always, always. And um, so this is an image of grounding if you don't know what it is. Um, it's the connection that you make with your conscious mindfulness to the center of the earth. That may happen accidentally if you're in a beautiful old forest, but most of us don't live in beautiful old forests. So it's really good to consciously make this energy connection with your mind, your intention, your imagination. Um, so you imagine and create as you're doing it, you imagine a red or orange or yellow connection, nice as, nice and wide, as wide as your whole aura. So my aura goes out about this wide, as wide as the heel of my hand, right? So you can imagine that, that your aura goes out that wide for you and that your aura goes as high as your third chakra. Okay, third chakra is like, here's your sternum bone that goes down, and then when that ends, that's your third chakra, okay? So, um, at the start of this healing, we did whichever color you want, red or orange or yellow. <sighs> I think I'll start with the red. But whichever one you want, red or orange or yellow, make uh, imagine that this big connection going from your third chakra all the way down to the core of the earth is red and wide all the way down, three dimensional and wide all the way down. So it goes in front of you, goes behind you to each side all the way down like a big waterfall. And then just imagine a copy of that out in front of you so that you can comb through it. And what you're doing with combing through it is you're using gold light from your hands. Uh, you have a big energy center in the palm of each hand, which can generate gold light. You just set it to generate gold with your intention. And then um, your fingertip chakras in your fingertips, super cool. You have energy centers there too. So you just set those to generate gold light as well. And so you just bathe this copy of your grounding with the gold light and you want to sense any, um, blocked energy and be very patient and melt it downward, melt it down. And then what it'll do is that energy will just, any energy that's not yours will be absorbed by the core of the earth. So then you're unblocking your grounding essentially. So just let that wash all the way down, all the gold light again, melting away any blocked energy that's in your grounding. Because it's possible even after you made a nice, beautiful, wide grounding that you may have like a lot of, um, you know, rocks in your grounding. Uh, they look like rocks, but they're just energy blocks. 
And sometimes it's like you're trying to release a lot of energy, but maybe somebody who cares about you is corded uh, accidentally, subconsciously to those energy blocks. And so that's how you can get these big giant energy blocks in your grounding. It's like you almost released them, but somebody is cording. And sometimes they just cord subconsciously out of concern. It's not like they're trying to hold you back, um, but whatever, uh, you don't have to worry about who or why just lots of gold light and just melt away any energy cords going into your grounding and any energy blocks that are in your grounding. Just finish melting them away. There we go. So now um, let's do a little bit of aura repair. Aura repair is very important. I do encourage people, I would say, I mean, if you really are like open to ideas I would say twice a day or repair would really serve you well um, the idea is you learn it so that it's really quick and easy for you to do and it's not a big deal um, so or repair is like you want your or to be a nice round bubble all the way around you right all the way around under your feet all the way around you in front of you right nice a nice bubble Right, so, but if your aura gets damaged, it'll have rips and tears in it. And so you want to melt those away with gold light. So go ahead and make a mini version of your whole aura out in front of you. Um, you know, so maybe this big if you want, you know. And uh, just imagine a mini copy of your aura and your grounding and just, and your aura and your grounding are separate, um, but they're connected and they overlap. So that's why I always say your aura and your grounding. Um, but anyway, just wash out any rips and tears that may be in your aura. Um, sometimes people like if you work in a mini version of your aura, sometimes people are more comfortable with it when it's bigger because maybe it's easier to see the rips if everything's a little bigger. Um, I think for me it depends on my mood. <laughs> So, and you don't have to have your eyes open for this. You can imagine your aura with your eyes open or your eyes closed, whatever you want. And um, I like to imagine in particular the back and the top because those are very common places for me to get aura damage and also a lot of other people. But um, it's nice to check everywhere and just sort of sense with your imagination and your intention and just wash out all the ripped up spots in your aura. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes I say like aura damage if you have a fast shift in your mood, you can suspect aura damage as the cause. But also what I would say is if you have sort of like a week that where you're sort of declining, each day is a little worse for you, I would also say that's a classic sign of aura damage as well. So say a bunch of aura damage you get on Wednesday, you think, oh, that was a rough day, hopefully tomorrow's better, but you don't fix the aura damage. So then Thursday, that aura damage is still there and it gets worse. And then Friday, that aura damage is still there and it gets even worse. So that can also be a classic sign of aura damage when your day is just getting, your week is just getting worse and worse. Um, and if that sounds familiar, that's because most people, that's what they, that's what happens to them, but they just don't understand aura damage or aura repair. Um, so the good news is it's super simple. <laughs> anyway just imagine like I said just imagine the bubble for your aura and just just use your imagination and just sense like oh man I just feel like a little spot there is kind of weak and then just wash it out with gold light and at some point it just kind of fills back in and grows back in so it's it's not like you want your aura all to be gold you're using gold as like a cleaner and then your aura will just naturally have these rainbow colors because you're setting your chakras to different rainbow colors um, I have a video series, Seven Chakras Aura Layers Flow, if you want to learn more about that. Seven Chakras Aura Layers Flow. But for now, just think of, you know, your aura and just wash it out so it's only you. You want your energy here. It's a bubble for you and your energy, right? And the, the video that just talks about aura repair is called gold energy aura buffer zones it's an 18 minute video called gold energy aura buffer zones okay so that's enough for aura repair and let's double check grounding 
because as you were combing through your aura, you probably started to release even more. So you wanna make sure none of it's like halfway clogged on the way down your grounding. Just send that gold light down your grounding so that everything fully releases. Okay, and believe it or not, that is typically the most important part of a healing that I do for people, um, A, or a repair, and B, um, making sure that grounding is really, really properly releasing. There's no blockages or less blockages, and that flows really well. Okay, so, um, and let's redo gold energy aura buffer zones with your mind, just redo those, just takes a second. And again, you could learn about that in the video, gold energy aura buffer zones, which is 18 minutes long. But if you want to do it right now and you, you're going to watch that video later, just say, angels, please make new gold buffers for me. Gold buffers or buffer zones. And your angels know what they are. Just say angels, though. Okay, great. So then um, now let's do a step, which actually I did towards the latter part of the healing, but I think it fits in better here. So we'll do it now. Um, Let's do gold light just for your physical body um, because this is deeper work in this set and I felt like that would be nice for everybody's physical body just to get a little energy boost, um, just to get kind of lifted up in a, in a way. Um, so your physical body, think about your physical body, you know, your arms, your legs, everything, right? And just um, imagine a copy out in front of you of your physical body and just, just do gold light uh, in your physical body so arms legs torso you know shoulders head you know just you don't have to have a special order or direction that you're doing it just gold light all through your physical body just let your physical body kind of relax it's just a little treat for your physical body <laughs> Okay, um, good job. So now, um, if you feel spacey, just redo your grounding. Um, so then now, let's unravel resistance. We did do a little bit of this in the healing. Um, not as much as last triplet set, but we did do it. Um, so unraveling resistance is you just imagine resistance, your inner resistance, which is possibly only subconscious but resistance is like when you're part of your spirit's like no 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 you know you're, you're kind of struggling or clutching on to energy you're you're kind of anti-change even though consciously you may be very pro positive change um, but there may be a part of you that's resistant you know out of fear or fatigue or being depleted or something so uh, you want to comfort those parts of you and ease those parts of you out of resistance so that it's easier for you to bring in positive change and be whole and healthy, right? So, um, so you just imagine, uh, in this one, we didn't really do specific areas. I know in the last triple set, we would do like grounding and up here at the same time, and then we do here at the same time. But in this uh, healing, I was a little more freestyle about it. So I just imagined the person's whole space, you know, above their head, above your head, all along your spine, below your spine, you know, in your aura, and then your grounding, just the whole thing. And I just imagine resistance like a tangle, you know, like maybe of hair, uh, like, um, like ropes, big ship ropes that are knotted together and you just want to melt the knots away. So you just imagine the resistance in your space and it could be purely subconscious, although some of it could be conscious like, oh my God, how am I going to do all this work? <laughs> or, oh my God, how am I going to pay that bill? You know, but you just want to you don't be that way right now. You're just this calm, awesome, evolved person that's working your energy, right? And so just imagine your space and imagine the tangles of resistance that you have in your space and just use gold light and just, just wash that stuff out. Just be gentle, be patient, and just wash out all this resistance that you have. And typically I do notice it like along the, the core part of your spirit. You know, here's where all your major chakras are. There's a lot of very key flow upward and downward here that has to happen. Also, you're releasing, 
down where it has to happen. So you just want to make sure all along, even in your grounding, that you're undoing your resistance. Just use lots of nurturing, gold, gentle energy. Ah, and just let go. I can let go. It's okay. I can let go. And as you think something like that, you're basically talking to that subconscious part of you that is accidentally very resistant. And you're just going to comfort that part of you. Hey, it's okay. It's all right. I can let go. I can let go. And I do want to make a note. I didn't actually do it in the first healing, although I may do it in the second and the third healing for the set that'll happen tomorrow and then two days from tomorrow. Um, but let's wash out any, um, if you're doing this around this time of year, you know, it's January, right? Today's January 5th actually, but um, maybe the winter holidays, uh, you know, uh, if you're in the US Thanksgiving time and then uh, Christmas holiday time, you know, whether or not you're religious at all, there could be a lot of social pressures that you were under and, or work pressures. And so just wash that out. Give yourself an extra little rinse of gold light to just wash out any leftover stuck energy from that time period. You know, all those winter holiday time periods. And what I mean by winter holiday is one of my UK clients pointed out that for them, a holiday means vacation. So it's really a wonderful thing, you know. But um, what I mean is holiday time, you know, which is sort of like November, December. Um, and in the US, people tend to overwork and put themselves under a lot of social pressures. So that's what I mean, like wash out any social pressures or any work pressures that have just built up. Um, Maybe if the weather is kind of stressing you a little extra, just wash that out with lots of gold light. Okay, great. So, um, and then uh, we're almost done with this part one. Um, so we're just gonna uh, redo uh, the grounding. So go ahead and redo the grounding. Um, if you want in a different color, I think sometimes that'll knock some blocked energy out if you change your grounding color. So red or orange or yellow. I think I'll do orange this time. Nice big wide grounding all the way down to the core of the earth. <sighs> and then do a one color earth energy soak. So I have that video, which is six minutes long, called Tri Color Earth Energy Soak. Tri Color Earth Energy Soak. So this is like a mini version of that, where you just, you made your grounding red or orange or yellow, and then you use your grounding like a big straw and you bring up an extra amount of earth energy from the core of the earth at that color and just soak your whole space in it. So for me, I'm bringing up orange earth energy up, 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 up. So, and it's soaking my whole space, my body, my aura, my chakras, all my organs, everything above my head too. So that's a one color earth energy soak. Ah, and you can just leave that up if you want, that's what I would do um, and I will do. But if you want, you could bring it down if you prefer just to leave it at the level of your third chakra, all that earth energy, but I, I do like it up, so I'll leave it. Okay, great, so that's part one. And that um, that's a good, um, nice, soothing uh, help to repair your aura, help you release, help you be non-resistant. Um, so that, um, and we, redo, we redid our gold buffer zones, just so that you're nice and ready to do the part two, which is more work um, on your inner self. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put inner pool or inner self in the title, but you'll see it linked at the end. Um, okay, so good job, guys. Um, and uh, I think you're awesome for working on your energy. Bye. Hope to see you in the next video.